Hello, my name is Dr. Arya Olumi. I am a staff urologist at Massachusetts General Hospital, director of research in the Department of Urology, and associate professor of surgery at Harvard Medical School. Thank you for watching this video, which is meant to be an informational session on uh, prostate cancer. September is Prostate Health Month, and we hope that this video will help you and or your loved ones who may uh, be having some questions about uh, prostate cancer or prostate cancer screening. Screening for prostate cancer uh, has typically uh, been initiated at age 50 or above. However, we know through our uh, last two decades of utilizing the blood test called PSA or prostate specific antigen, we diagnose many men who have extremely uh, early prostate cancers that may not become um, clinically significant throughout their lifetime. The guidelines that have been set forth by uh, hospitals across the nation has led to many patients who are diagnosed with prostate cancer. Although we have made significant headway in reducing the number of prostate cancer deaths, it is clear that we overdiagnose prostate cancer and as a result overtreat many men who may not require treatment uh, during their lifetime. Uh, therefore, here at Massachusetts General Hospital, we are working very hard in order to improve our diagnostic strategies by special research uh, programs that we have created in order to improve our ability to detect prostate cancer uh, that is uh, clinically significant and also reduce uh, the uh, treatment for patients who may not need treatment or benefit from treatment. We encourage you to seek uh, medical centers that have a multidisciplinary approach, uh, and it is very important for you to have a discussion uh, with your physician, whether it's your primary care physician or other uh, specialists who may be involved in your prostate cancer health or uh, prostate cancer screening, uh, to determine whether uh, uh, screening or treatment is the right choice for you. Here at Massachusetts General Hospital, we have a genitourinary oncology multidisciplinary clinic where a patient is seen with uh, a urologic oncologist, a medical oncologist, and a radiation oncologist. And this team approach uh, to care and management of prostate cancer has significantly benefited our patients. We can uh, identify and make recommendations for patients who may benefit from active surveillance, meaning a patient who may have a early type of prostate cancer that may not require treatment during a, a man's lifetime, or we may identify patients who would benefit most uh, from uh, treatment. Treatments can include surgery in the form of open surgery, robotic prostatectomy or laparoscopic prostatectomy, or treatments may include a form of radiation and the form of uh, brachytherapy or seeds, external beam radiation therapy, uh, which can also include proton therapy or uh, IMRT. Finally, we sometimes employ uh, hormonal ablation treatments uh, for some men who uh, may benefit uh, uh, from uh, additional treatment strategies. Thank you for your time in observing this video, and I hope uh, this informational video is useful to you and your loved ones.